Now then YouTube, I am the Toff Man. Welcome back to my Minecraft playthrough. This is episode 16 now, I believe. And um, I've got a little bit of problem before I actually start my fence for Jurassic Park and start that properly. I'm going to need to do a few things first. Um, the first thing is that I've noticed that a lot of stuff coming into here, um, I'm having to take a lot of this cobblestone out when I've been mining around the place. Uh, I keep having to take cobblestone out and put it in the, market, the relay. Now I've been doing that myself and I thought to myself, surely there's a way to automate this um, so that I can firstly make sure that this get, you know, keeps full and uh, secondly, you know, any excess comes over here. Well, I've been doing a little bit of digging around and it appears that I need what's called a terminus module. Now to do this, I'm going to need a couple of items first and foremost. I'm going to need one Oh, I might as well. Yeah, well, I'll get one of them. And I also need a basic logistics pipe itself. And I'm also going to need a good handful of these stone transport pipes. I'm going to go with 20. No, in fact, you know what? I'm going to take them all. And I'll put them in my bag for safekeeping. Just the ones that I don't use, I'll put them in my bag. Because I'll always, you know, I'll use them at some stage. Right, so firstly, because this is going to be an intersection now, I'm going to need a basic logistics pipe there. You know, that's kind of the, that's kind of basic logistics pipe you know, thing for you there. I'm going to put this um, Mark II the chassis pipe. That's really loud in my ears. I don't know if it's for you, but that is uh, pretty loud in my ears, I've got to say. And in there, I want this terminus module. Now, that's crafted using purple dye. Uh, blank modules, you know, iron gears, and you know the usual suspects. But I need the purple dye first, and to do that, it's obviously a, a piece of lapis and uh, rose red. Or you can do it with indigo dye and rose red, which I may do. But I want to uh, actually firstly connect all these together. Underneath the floor here, so it's nice and easy to hide once it's finished. Lovely. That's green, that means it's talking to each other, which is always great. Right, inside here, I want the terminus module, so let's go and sort that out now. Purple dye. Let's see if I've got any indigo flowers. I should have some indigo flowers. Let me just... Rose red first. Indigo flowers. Where are you? I know I've got some in here. Obviously not. Maybe it's one of them items that I thought, oh, I don't need this, I'll bin it. Never mind, I'll just get some lapis instead. Got plenty of that stuff. Get the red dye out of there. And in fact, I'm going to make sure that this knows about it. It does know about it already, so that's fair enough. It's worth eight. One lapis, one red dye. There's my purple dye. I'm going to teach my purple dye to my transmutation table, so I'll have to do it again. And there I've got my two purple dye. I need two ink sacks also. And then I need a blank module. Three pieces of redstone. An iron gear. And is that it? Have I got everything that I need? Not quite yet, I think I'm waiting on my blank module. No, I've got my blank module, what am I waiting on? Ah, my iron gear. The terminus module. Very nice. Let's go and stick this in my chassis pipe. I could have used a Mark 1 chassis pipe, but I did have some spare ones, so not too bothered. Terminated items. This basically, what this uh, module does, it says you know whatever's left after you've put stuff in the in the chests if there's something left over you know stick it in there so i want um cobblestone i also want dirt cuz i'm going to want to do a, a build craft quarry at some stage sand i've got plenty of sand there netherrack gravel uh i don't think i need anything else in there just now Smooth stone, I have to make that myself anyway, so I'm not too bothered about that. Let's open that up. Let's put the gravel in there. Dirt. Sand. And netherrack. So, 
when I'm out mining now and I put some stuff in my ender pouch and it doesn't have the room to fit it in here anymore, it will go and put it straight into my collector, my relay, sorry. And my relay is probably not going to be big enough or fast and strong enough to deal with all this. So let me just get my things together and I'm probably going to upgrade this relay to a Mark II relay. But let me just get my stuff together and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone upstairs and got myself a dark matter from the machine that I was d created. Uh, instead of making straight red matter, I changed it all into dark matter. I think that that's more useful at this moment in time. So I've got myself a bit of dark matter. Um, I also need some obsidian. Oh, I've got plenty of that. Plenty of that. I remember actually making it all. And I believe I need my yes, my antimatter relay, the first one. I need the Mark One. So. Knocking that off here. Very nice, thank you. Um, have I got my. I don't have my philosopher's stone on me, do I? Is it in my bag? No, it's not in my bag either. That's interesting. I wonder where it is. Ah, I don't know where. It, it could possibly be upstairs in my little chest that I've got here. Yeah, it is. It's there. I must have that on me at all times a portable crafting table. It's very useful. I don't know why I don't just keep it on me. I am going to uh, cover this floor back up, don't worry, but I just want to see that everything works okay. Um, Philosopher's Stone there. Antimatter relay in the middle with obsidian all around there. And then the Dark Matter blob on the top. The Relay Mark 2. And you know what I could do actually? I could actually get a Relay Mark 3. I could. I could do it. Now, I don't think I've got, um, you know what, yes, I probably have, I've got enough in here, where's my turn list, right, one, two, three, oh, was it six bits of turn list, four, five, six, six bits of turn list there, I'm just going to need a dark matter from my machine upstairs, and then I'll be able to make myself a red matter, I've probably already taught it to my um, my transmutation table, but I just you know I've had no use for for using it at the minute. So I changed all my red matter, you see, into dark matter, as you can see there. I've turned it off. I've turned the machine off for a minute. I don't need it running all the time. I've got plenty of dark matter there to keep me going for a long, long time yet. So, oh, I could have just done it there, but never mind. I've only got one. I needed three, didn't I? What a clown! I need three dark matter, not just the one. I really need an easy way to get round there. Right, there's my three. So, dark matter all along the middle, the eternalists on the tops, and the bottom is the red matter. It, it probably already knows about it, I just haven't got a client star big enough to be able to deal with something that large yet, in terms of worth. But just to make sure, I will put that into my transmutation too. It does know about it, but like I said, I haven't got a client star big enough. So I've already got that on my hand. Let me get myself seven more pieces. The client star mark, the mark two there, and then the red matter, and then the relay mark three. Absolutely amazing stuff. Brilliant. Now this is going to gain a little bit quicker, and in fact, you know what would be a good idea is if I added, and oh my, it's, oh, I could have just got Eternalis out of there, but never mind. Um, this is only a Collector Mark 1, I could put another one at the other side as well, but I think what I'm going to do is just leave it like that. Um, I've, I've no use for that at the minute, I'm just going to cover all this up now, that should work fine. Everything should be working wonderfully. Changing it all back into smooth stone, of course. So it looks like nothing is amiss. Brilliant. Done. Right, because in Jurassic Park, I'm going to have quite a lot of um, iron iron posts that I'm going to need to make. Which, um, I think the iron fences, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, iron fence. Uh, they're from rail power, I think, you know, off the top of my head. But they require 
not just normal iron, they require refined iron to do so. So I'm going to have to find a way to auto-craft refined iron. Which basically means I've got to do a little bit of messing around in my logistics slash crafting system and find out a way to get a, uh, a rotary, not a rotary macerate, what am I talking about? An induction furnace um, that is solely for creating refined iron. Basically, you know, you put a, a, an iron ingot in and you'll get out a refined iron and, and it'll, it'll basically craft itself. It is possible, you can do it, but I'm just debating where, where to put it in my system. Do I put it down here with my crafting stuff or do I put it upstairs um, so that it's easier accessible to my pipes? Um, just bear with me a minute and I'll, uh, I'll figure everything out. So just off camera there, I tried something, it failed miserably. Um, what I did was I put a stone transport pipe and a crafting logistics pipe just on the front of this um, and it worked to a certain degree. You know, I said, you know, you, you put an iron ingot in there and you'll get a refined iron ingot out. But because, of course, this has the extractor module in it that it extracts from the side and also, you know, it, it um, extracts the item that, that was put back in. So basically, I was requesting a refined iron it was getting the iron ingot from my chests downstairs it put the iron ingot in here but then extracted it straight away before it had chance to uh, to actually smelt back up into a refined iron so it means that I'm gonna be stuck um, with actually adding another one on here um, yeah it's just underneath there so that's good these are the ones with the yeah right okay so I'm gonna need to make myself uh, another induction furnace and also get myself set up with some I think I can just go straight across the top here oh hang on because that's going to then change into uh, a, a, a thingamabob a junction so let me get myself a, another basic logistics pipe so I can at least set the beginning part of this up I'll craft the uh, induction furnace off camera you've already seen me do one of them before in this series so I'd, I don't see any need to do it again uh, let's get that on there. They're all talking again, very nice. And then let's just have that going down here. And here is where the crafting logistics pipe is going to be. Or does it need to be on the front? Hmm, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to get all the stuff together to make myself an induction furnace and I'll be back. I'm just getting my stuff here for the advanced machine block. I've got one, the normal machine block. I've got two carbon plates. Um, and the m advanced alloys are just doing in my compressor right now. So let's get them two out, lovely. And we should be able to make ourselves the advanced machine block right now. So there we are. Advanced machine block, electric furnace, copper, and there is the induction furnace. Lovely. Right, let's uh, let's put that there. Um, we, we haven't got any any power underneath there actually. Um, pretty noobish mistake from myself. So let's get ourselves a glass fibre cable. I'm sure I've got one left in the system somewhere. Or I may not have. It seems I might not have actually. That's not a problem. I'm sure I can make some. Just having a good a quick look just to make sure that I haven't. No, I definitely haven't got anything in there. So let's have a look see what glass fibre cables need. Um, I know there's a couple of diamonds involved. Oh, there's one diamond, two redstone, and six glass. And because I'm absolutely sick to death of, of, of making stuff like that, I'm going to need some more in the future. So, six glass. Um, now, where's my diamond? I know it's here somewhere. I can't see it. Why can I not see it? I've got like 50 odd pieces of it. Just gonna get a piece. Diamond. I might as well just grab my redstone while I'm there, and I. And let me get myself the. Uh, that's quite worrying, actually. Where is my diamond? I've got my precious items in there. I've got you know them there. So it's picking up the chest, but where's my diamonds? Hmm. I just can't see them. Can't see for looking. Um, right, let's get ourselves the automatic crafting table. Another one of them. 
one of them, and a crafting logistics pipe, just for good measure. Ah, oh, there it is. There they are. <laughs> there's my crafting logistics pipe. Uh, there's my thingy, and there's that. Right, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, in fact, let me get my sword here because I believe that this might be because the wall's open. No, it's probably coming from up there. Yes, I was digging away with my um, destruction catalyst, and I very nearly took out my entire crafting network. So that was pretty lucky for me not to do that. For the minute, I'm just, I'm just going to ignore them. Diamond in the middle, two redstone, and the glass on the outsides. Yeah, glass fiber cable, good stuff. And my crafting logistics pipe right there, along with my wrench to import the recipe. Good. Now I can actually make it. Now I don't have to worry about them again. Crafting. I only need the one. So I'll get the one. The, the rest will probably end up in the chest upstairs because at the minute they don't have anywhere to go. They don't have a chest to auto sink into. I'm going to get this. I'm going to sleep really quickly. Thank you. I'm going to sleep really quickly and then I'm going to hook this up and hopefully get this thing working so that I can finally get the the, uh, the fences sorted for, for Jurassic Park because that's exactly why we're doing this. That's getting power now. Uh, the only thing it hasn't got is a lever. So let's get uh, one stick and one cobble. Where's my stick? There. Good stuff. Now that's on and that's going to gather some heat up which is brilliant. Uh, I'm going to get my craft and logistics pipe right there. And fingers crossed that this actually works. But my craft and logistics pipe, I'm going to need my refined iron, which is going to be the output, but I also need an input of normal iron. So let's grab one of them. Sweet, thank you. And let's put the input there. You can't import it because it'll just do nothing and it'll wipe the whole thing. Um, so let's try this and try this again. One refined iron, please. Request successful. So that means there's an iron that's going to come popping over here. Okay, so it's in there. It's heating up now. And there, oh, yes, it works. It actually works. Good stuff. Right, now that is done. What we need to do is get ourselves another auto crafting table. There it is. Get myself another crafting logistics pipe. And get myself six refined iron, please. Oh, sweet, sweet. No longer do I have to stand there and manually uh, re smelt everything. I take it they are just cooking away upstairs. There's one. <laughs> It'll take a while for it to get fully up to speed, but when it does, honestly, this will be a hell of a lot faster, and uh, I'll be getting I'll be getting fences for Jurassic Park in absolutely no time whatsoever. How many have I got here? Oh, I've got loads of refined iron. Never mind. I think I've got six. The six that I requested. I think I've got them now anyway. So let's put that there. Twelve iron fences. Now I believe that if you, if you you can um, like dye these certain colours. I, d I don't want them because certain colours. I want them that colour. It makes it look like uh, little bits of electric fence. So you know, just a little bit like that. Uh, import that, please. Thank you. Right. So I am all sorted. Uh, what I am going to do though is get my bag. Now have I got any? I do have some stone bricks, but I'm going to need a hell of a lot more than that. So let me grab myself... You know what, I'm going to grab all of these and I'm going to shove them all in my bag. I think that's definitely worth it. In fact, no, hang on a minute. I'll just keep one in there for when I want to auto-sort things. 
Uh, I'm going to put stone bricks in there. I'm going to put my pipes in there. My request logistics and my item teleport pipe. Remember that is for requesting items over a long distance. I definitely want to keep that on me. Yeah, I might as well just shove all the rest of the stuff in here as well that I'm not going to use for the minute. Stone bricks is definitely one of them. Uh, and my nether rack and gravel and all that kind of stuff that I had from earlier needs to go in there. That I like to keep on myself along with my Klein Star and my Swift Wolf. That I can put in there. My Shovel of Renewal. Those are the two things that I'm definitely going to use straight off. Right, I've got myself all the stone bricks that I possibly want to need. Um, I might want some stone brick stairs, but for the minute I'm okay. I've got plenty of stone bricks there to make myself some more if needs be. Right, I think I'm I think I'm ready. The only thing I need to do is recharge my diamond drill. So once I've done that, I will meet you over at Jurassic Park. So I'm now over at Jurassic Park and I'm thinking to myself, um there is quite a few holes in here. And one of these like goes really, really far down into the earth. There's that one there, and there's another one just on the other side of this little hill here. Um I am literally right on the plane of the gate there. I think I want the corner of this first bit here. So let me get my bag out open here and get myself out some stone bricks. And begin digging. Mm. I'm just trying to think to myself how exactly I want to do this. Um, so we've got what? One, two, three, four, five, six tall there. Of course, it's got this more than six tall here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tall to the top of here. But it is seven tall to the top of that. Um, the only way I can do it is to just have a little bit of a mess around here. I think that uh, I want to have it like peaked right on the corners there. I think that's definitely a plus. It's not going to make it look as, you know, square. Is it, if, if that's possible in Minecraft. Um, hmm. I think that looks okay. don't think it looks brilliant, but I think it looks okay. Uh, and what I am going to do is stretch the iron fencing from here right over to there. I may put in the middle here, actually, a little bit of a stone pillar. I might have to uh, dig the place out a little bit to do that first, but we'll see how it goes. I'll be back in just a second. I've gone home to sleep and I've come back nice and refreshed. It's just turned morning. Um, right, looking at this, what I want to do first and foremost is get my white bag out and put my portal gun, uh, not so much the remote back, I can keep the remote on myself, but what I want is the request logistics pipe and my item teleport pipe. I've got to remember which one this set is actually set up on. Um, I've got to have the teleport pipe down first and then the request logistics pipe. So let me see what I can do here. Oh, there, there it is. That's the only one that's there. Um, I should be able to get my wrench now and then uh, yes, I can access everything. Brilliant stuff. Well, here's my iron fences. I'm going to need quite a bit of this. So Request successful on 64, but I'm probably going to need another set of that. So I'll let them, you know, cook up and do their business, and when they've popped pop through here, um, I will be back. Lovely. Two stacks of iron fences for me here. Brilliant stuff. I've just going to flatten this out a little bit, because obviously I'm going to need to for, uh, for what I want to do. Um, I think that should be enough. I may have to put some here, actually, just so that it's level. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do with this iron fence, I'm probably going to want to get rid of this a little bit here as well. Just do that really quick now. There we are. With my philosopher's stone. Dig out some stuff with my philosopher's stone. Uh, right, let's get my uh, um, iron fence here. Um, the, thing, the good thing about doing something like this Jurassic Park is it doesn't need to be symmetrical. In fact, it adds to it if it's not symmetrical. It adds to uh, how, it, how it's built. Um, however, I am going to want 
like a stone Ooh. pillar here. Just so that it's got something to interconnect with each other. So it doesn't look as, you know, huge. Um, so let's go over to this here and just start off by placing these down along here. Like this. It should nicely connect to the side of there. Well, it doesn't connect, it won't connect to there. Normal fences will, but uh, these type of fences won't. Hmm. Obviously that will go down like that, then that will go down like that, and these will be like that. So just for the minute, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to be going along here and just filling in this with uh, with iron fences. And um, I'm going to be back when I've done like this full bit and that full bit as well. And uh, we'll see what it looks like after that. <laughs> This is becoming quite the epic build as I'm going to need yet more iron fences. So what I'm going to do is get myself two stacks of 64 iron fences. And uh, it's coming along well, you know, it's looking okay. Now what I've done, and what I am going to do actually, is just extend this up one more notch so it's actually bigger than the fence itself. Um, I might put one there as well actually, so it looks like it's attached. Yeah, that looks good, that does. So you, we've got this fence here, and I didn't like the way that it wasn't attached to the wall. It doesn't attach to the walls, these iron fences. Um, really, they should. I, I would like to see that kind of functionality. That was the, the same kind of thing that happens with normal fences. I'd love to see that on uh, on these iron fences as well. But alas, it's not to be. What I've done is just put on the... I didn't like the big, huge gap that was there. Um, as these are, these are like supports, you know, these are meant to be there to help the fence stay up. So what I did was round the back here, um, I've just placed another two strips of, of stone there, and uh, it's looking good. I mean, I'm enjoying this. I really am enjoying this, and I really am liking the look of this, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing where this goes. Now, by no means is this anywhere near finished. Um, this is still going to be... Um, a few episodes worth left to do. I've still got the fence to do. I've got the inside the, the pens to do. I've still got like the uh, the gatehouse and all that kind of business. You know the offices and stuff. Um, because I don't want you know I don't want to just open the gate and then suddenly you're in Jurassic Park. There's got to be some kind of buildings involved in this as well. So I've I've got to do it. You know I've got to do it properly if I'm going to do it at all. I don't want to do half the job. So and. You know, you've got, got to bear in mind, I still haven't got any kind of power source. You know, I haven't got any build craft power source at all. I mean, I love that. I, I love the look of that. That is really, really good. And what I'm going to do, actually, is just go around the back here and uh, do exactly the same around the back on this as what I've done in the centre there. And there's a bomb craft slime that's just getting involved. But it doesn't really need to be. Um, now, hang on a sec. So I'm gonna have to put that one there, aren't I? Ooh, bit of lag spike there. I've been getting a lot of that recently, to be honest. Lag spikes, it's been doing me in. I think it's the longer I'm recording, the uh, the more my computer heats up, and it doesn't like it. So that should be okay. Um, now I'm possibly gonna want to put another one there. Like that. Now that looks a bit silly to me. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to knock this out. I'm going to knock this one out here and I'm going to just move it all over slightly and then fill this middle gap in. Um, but this is looking really, really good. This is going to be a quite a large area as you can see. Um, this is only one side of it. You know, I've still got a bit of fence to do that way. I've got the fencing to do lengthways. And uh, I'm probably going to, you know, I'm not going to do it like a big long straight line of fence. I'm probably going to go wiggly on the sides. Um, in fact, I'm, I may even go wiggly around here so I can either incorporate this water or not incorporate this water. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. But we will see. Now, what's further on down here? I believe it's only a forest, which is great, to be honest. Oh, it's loading something. Well, there's my there's my fence gate there. It's just turning dark, so I best be quick. 
Um, this forest is great if I could incorporate this forest and have you know dinosaurs just wandering around near forest. But I'll have to have a look through, see if there's any caves as well, like that one there, so I can block them off so my my, uh, my dinosaurs aren't going to get stuck anywhere. Um, right, bear with me a second, and I'll try and sort that out in the finish there, because I think we're very nearly on the edge of, of half an hour. Um, right, I'll be back in just a second. I've finished this little section of fence now, and it looks absolute. I love this. I love the look of it. I love the, the way that this is going to look once it's finished. Now, oh, there's a little uh, skeleton chilling out just over there, under the trees. I'll deal with that in a minute. Um, I've had an idea. Now, for anybody who's seen my Top Man's creations in Minecraft will already know about the dynamic lighting system, uh, that little creation that I that I came up with. And what I'm going to use and what I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that and I'm probably going to put some lighting on these little bollards, these little uh, like supports if you if you like. And I'm going to put lights on the top of here and uh, you know, on every single bollard as well. So when it turns dark, everything will light up, and I think it'll look absolutely amazing. I'm probably going to put something on here as well. I'm not sure. But uh, next episode, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do too much of this uh, fencing on camera, to be honest. I'm probably going to uh, try and get the fencing finished between episodes, so that you know I'm not messing about. Um, but next episode, what I want to do is start working on the entrance where, you know, like a, a little bit of a road coming in, because I'm probably going to want to use the uh, the car mod um, that I put in a while ago, uh, and I'm going to want to try and make some sort of road from here, you know, uh, uh, as near to my home as I possibly can. I know it's a very, very long way to my home, as you can see, it's nearly 400 metres there, but... You know, it'd be nice to have a road from there uh, to Jurassic Park, and then you know, I get here, I get out of my car, I open the door, I go through with my car, and um, I don't know, maybe make a little, little bit of a car park or something with a building in the middle of here, and 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 then get on uh, a rail cr a rail car or something, a rail track or something like that that'll take me on a little tour of of all the dinosaurs and so on and so forth. That'd be nice. That'd be really, that'd be just fantastic if I could actually pull that off and make it look decent. But that's that's my idea. Um, you can feel free to let me know in the comments if you think that that's a good idea. Um, I've probably already started working on it by then, but never mind. Um, yeah, so that concludes episode, um, what are we on? 16? I think that concludes episode 16 now of uh, of my Minecraft Season 3 Let's Play. Uh, a lot of work still to go into this Jurassic Park and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and I just love that frames. I love the frames. I really do. Now I know how to actually use them properly. I love frames. They are absolutely amazing and I would suggest anybody that doesn't know how to use frames to at least try, go in a test world and give them a try uh, and try and work them out because they are absolutely amazing and there's such a lot you can do with them. Anyway, I have been the Tough Man. This is it for episode 16. Until next time, stay safe.